Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. So this beefy laptop is the MSI GT660, and this thing cost me $1,100 all the way back in 2010. Today, I'm gonna put it through the paces and see if it can handle some 2017 gaming. So, let's get into it. Before jumping straight into the benchmarks, we'll get there soon, let's go over what the heck this thing actually is. The MSI GT660 was released in late 2010, and it used to be a complete beast of a gaming laptop. It rocked the first generation of Intel's i7 processors, the i7-740QM at 1.73 GHz, 6 GB of DDR3 RAM, a 500 GB hard drive, and a 1 GB GTX 285M. Now think about that, the GTX 285 M was a beast of a graphics card back in the day. If you're familiar with how Nvidia names its graphics cards, that's like saying a GTX 1085 M here in 2017. But obviously that doesn't exist. I hope that made sense. It was a beast of a card. The GT660 also had some pretty quote future proof features such as USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, a DVD drive, an eSATA drive, and even one of those weird express card slots. One thing that is actually pretty cool is the ability to remove the battery from the bottom without needing any tools. Why and when in the world did laptops stop including this as a feature by the way? One other thing to mention is the terrific build quality of the GT660. Sure, it's over twice as wide as my new Dell XPS 15, but that's because it's built like an absolute tank, coming in at almost 8 pounds. I've had this laptop for almost 7 years now, haven't taken any sort of care of it in the last 4 years probably, and there are still virtually no problems with it. Finally, the 16 inch screen is only rocking a 1366 by 768 resolution, so that's where we'll be gaming at today. Now one thing to note before benchmarking is the GTX 285 was a DirectX 10 graphics card, and you guys are probably aware of that we're already starting to see DirectX 12 games, so compatibility might be an issue. Anyways, let's cue the benchmarks. Well that wraps up my review of the MSI GT660. As you can see, the games that it can run, it actually does run somewhat decently, at least in 768p. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section if you want to see other videos like this. I randomly pulled this laptop out of the closet and I thought it would be a good idea. Let me know. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.